you never have to lose um, business or shut down, even if your internet goes down, for instance. Um, so I've got my iPad here. I'm going to tap on the MCR Silver Pro Lab. And I've, I've logged in with my four-digit PIN, and it actually did time me out, so I'm going to re-log in. And the great thing about Pro is it's not only it has a built-in time clock, but you can set up different job types and track the hourly rates assigned to those different jobs. So today I could sign in for, as a bartender, for instance, maybe tomorrow as a server, et cetera. Um, so actually, let me sign in as a server today. That's going to bring up four main modules here. We can clock out of the time clock function. I could log into the back office if I have access to see reports, change the menu, uh, things like that. But mostly a server, of course, is going to uh, be working in the takeout delivery module or the point of sale. Uh, let's start with the takeout delivery. It's pretty simple. I'm going to tap on that. I'm going to start a new financial shift. So we are tracking all my tips, gratuities, cash taken in, et cetera. And this is employee specific, so everyone gets their own financial shift report. Now for takeout and delivery, I can just create a new takeout or delivery order. We also have the ability to integrate uh, with a company for online ordering. So if you do need that functionality, please just ask us about that. We can turn that on, and that would integrate with your silver back office. Uh, but let's just do new takeout order here. And for takeout um, or delivery, we're going to assign a customer name or looking up an existing customer. I'm just going to look up Lizzie. Oops. And this will pull up anything with LI. And I'm actually not in this customer database in this demo account, so I'm going to choose Ashley. And this is, uh, let's say Ashley is going to pick up this order at 6.45 p.m. So then we'll press done. And I'm going to go ahead and add some items on here for our order. Let's go with burger of the day. And this would be our daily burger special. Maybe the price changes, so we have the price open on this one. Oops, not 50. There we go, five. And my modifiers are going to pop up for this item automatically. I'm going to get my medium, press done. And let's go ahead and also get a cheeseburger. So um, let's go ahead and get this one well done. Now, at this point, I could change this ticket to a dine-in option, or um, Ashley could go ahead and pay. We're going to select cash as the payment type, exact change. And so this ticket is um, ready to go. This would print out in the kitchen. And you can see we have our Ashley Richards takeout order here in the takeout module. But if I go back to the main screen and tap point of sale, I can go right to my table mapping if this is table service. Um, now this is fully customizable, so you could add different rooms. You can add a bar, a patio here, anything you want. Add your own numbers, number of seats, things like that. And if um, I do tap on the arrow in the upper left-hand corner here, I could come back out and do a takeout delivery from there. But let's go back into point of sale. I just wanted to show this in case you, maybe a bar would probably use tabs more often than tables, but this is uh, our tab area as well. So there's three different modes. We have quick mode tabs. We have table service with the table maps. And then we have our takeout delivery functionality as well. But let's go ahead and add a tab. I'm going to go and assign a customer to this tab. Let's use Ashley again. Okay. 
Now, with silver, you can put up as many different seat numbers as you would like. So let's say uh, seat number one <clears throat> um, is going to get a crown royal. We're going to add seat number two is going to get a hot chocolate. <laughs> And we would just continue uh, building our ticket from here. Um, we can do kitchen printer routing, so depending on what items you add, um, you know, those will go to different printers if you need them to, like a salad station bar, et cetera. Once I'm ready, um, once I'm done <clears throat> to pay, just press pay. At this option, I could merge these two items together under one ticket. We can uh, do tickets by seat. You see we have seat number one, seat number two. Or you can just split everything up in the equal amounts depending on the number of people you enter in here. Now I'm gonna go ahead and actually go back here. Let's say we've changed our minds. We're not quite ready to check out You can see this is where all my tabs will be, they are being timed and you can sort them by time if you'd like. I'm going to go ahead and go one step further, go back to my table. Um, I did want to show real quick, we mentioned editing the floor plan, but this is what that would look like. We can change our seat numbers, add more tables. Um, add a circular, add objects, settings, uh, whatever you really want to do, it's up to you. And I'm going to go ahead and discard those changes. But once again, I tap on this table, just like with the tabs, we can go by seat number, we can put this all on one tab, um, you know, uh, go by uh, equal amounts for each person at the table, it's up to you. Um, another great benefit of using Silver Pro is the ability to just swipe a credit card once at front. If I press pay, I can do that. I can um, actually swipe the card if I'm doing, you know, say a tab, and just assign that card to the ticket so you won't have to go ahead and, and charge it again later. Um, that's a big key difference between the basic and the pro system. So I could just hold my credit card here. And I'm just going to go back here. That's a quick look at the app, guys. So we have the table mapping, splitting, merging checks, creating tabs, and assigning credit cards. And we also have the takeout delivery, and if you want to use the, the optional third party for online ordering, you can integrate that with Silver Pro as well. <clears throat> but let's go ahead, let's jump on over to the back office part. So once again, the system is cloud-based, so the back office is just a website. Now this, you don't even have to be at the restaurant, you don't have to be on the iPads, you just have to use the Chrome browser and log into this website. And this is where we're going to, of course, uh, do most of the menu setup, look at reports, um, even do some customer um, things, and I'll be showing you that in just a minute, but I did want to start with results. <clears throat> A couple of different things I mentioned. First were the financial shifts, and here we have a couple of different employees. And if I'm a manager and, and this employee maybe owes uh, cash to the house, I can come in here and receive new cash. We're also, of course, uh, looking at the cash check payments, uh, gratuity, maybe you have a built-in gratuity, for instance, for parties over 10. Uh, regular tips, credit tips, cash tips, you can track all of that within the back office here. A great thing about Pro is the item sales report, and this is in our basic silver two, but it's one of the most popular reports across the board because this is going to show every category and every item under that category and how many is sold. Um, so you can check, you know, what's, what's maybe the most popular, what's maybe not. Um, you can also 
do some comparisons using variations. So let's say you have uh, Bud Light as the base item, but you want to track the different sales between drafts and cans. Uh, so you can do that with the item sales report. Now every report here, you can look up any date range you want. You can export in PDF, CSV, or Excel formats, or print your office printer. You can see we have a great amount of variety here. We don't really have time to look at all of these, um, but it just gives you a general idea. Here's our tip report. We also have labor shifts, so maybe you have uh, employees that aren't servers. We don't need to track tips and, and things of that nature, but we are tracking their hourly rate, time in, time out, and total pay and declared tips, if any. Last but not least, I do like to show the employee activity report so we can look at if employees have access to do these things, uh, depending on their job code, you know, if they're doing any voids, clears, anything like that that you might want to be aware of, we can pull up this report and see what's going on. Under menu is where I wanted to head next. So now when you first sign up for an NCR Silver Pro account, our concierge team is going to do all this setup for you. They're going to ask you to send um, your menu in some kind of electronic format, whether it be, uh, you know, an Excel, PDF, even a link to your website with the menu on there would probably work. And so they'll enter this all in for you, including modifiers, kitchen um, printer routing, all that good stuff we're going to help you set up. I'm going to click on this um, basic item here just so you can get a good idea of what uh, the capability is for each item. So like I said, you can assign these to different printer groups. You can assign a print priority to, um, you know, maybe appetizers print first, for instance. You can assign the item to as many modifier groups as you want. So you can see we have a, a good deal of those set up in our back office here, like pizza toppings, salad dressings, all that kind of stuff. Now, a modifier can be an upcharge or zero dollars. You can do um, what we call promotional pricing or, or I should say um, price lists. So maybe you have different pricing for different times or different events. You can automatically track that and apply those at checkout. So maybe you have a happy hour every Tuesday night, for instance. Silver can also do what we call a promotion. So maybe you have a buy one, get one, buy two, get half off the next, you know, however you want to set it up, that is possible, as well as regular discount codes. So maybe you just want to have, a, you know, for instance, a military discount, manager discount. We can preset those up and apply those at checkout. Another great thing about Silver Pro is, uh, like I said, everything is included in the monthly fee, and you also get some important key customer marketing tools. So there's a built in email marketing tool. You just log into your back office here, and you can create email campaigns to send out to customers. You could put a coupon at the bottom, as you see here, but it's customizable. You put your logo or picture here, design your text boxes, and send those out to your customer base. Uh, another neat thing you can do is connect these with your Facebook page. So even if somebody doesn't want to sign up for your email marketing list, if they've liked your Facebook page, this will pop up in their feed. You can also email receipts with Silver. And once again, for email receipts, you can customize the, the uh, logo picture at the bottom as well, put a coupon on again if you want to. There's also a loyalty program built right into Silver. So it's a basic loyalty program you can turn on for your customers. Um, in this instance, we are using the points program, so a dollar equals one point. I've set up my reward. 
and then I decide if this ever expires, if it never expires, et cetera. There's no physical cards needed. We just assign the customer name to the ticket or Silver Pro will recognize a credit card if I've used it with you before and ask if I need to be assigned to the ticket to earn my loyalty points. And then I'll see an automatic message as a customer at the bottom of my receipt to see where I'm at. I can also uh, put a little survey message at the bottom of um, every receipt, every 25 tickets, anything you want to do, every three, for instance. And that could be a link to a website or a phone number you'd like customers to call in and complete a survey at. Last but not least, um, in the main customer database area, this is where you can import a list of existing customers. You can add people on an iPad, it'll be sent here, or of course you can go into the back office and add customers in that way as well. We can cre uh, collect contact information, notes. Um, people always have the option to opt out of marketing, of course, and we can assign each customer to one type of category. Last but not least, in the back office, this is where we're going to set up our employees. And like I mentioned, um, you can set up different employee roles. We call them user roles. And assign an hourly rate to each one of those. You can turn on an automatic reminder to adjust tips at the end of the shift. And this is where you can change, edit somebody's PIN number to log in on the app or we set a password if this particular employee has access to the back office here. And under user roles is where I would create all the names for our user. So we could set up one here, maybe if we have a new employee rate. And all these checkboxes, we can decide exactly who has access to what, and that's for the point of sale app and the back office piece. So the back office and the app talk back and forth automatically. It's almost real time. It's so I would, uh, about every 10 to 15 minutes, everything's updated for you. So as you make sales, they would show up here under your results. 